you know, you talk about symbolism a lot. One of the things I've come to see is that propaganda is always the deformation of symbols. Oh yeah. You know? And it's, and it's, it's not, I think one of the reasons why my, both my brother and I really wanted to talk about symbolism so much is because we noticed that it seems that a lot of the people that were doing propaganda, they had mastered symbolic thinking in a certain manner and were mm-hmm. weaponizing it, using it with only one purpose. And so that's why if you look at the kind of woke, a lot of the, the woke Disney stuff and the, especially in the kids movies, the, the, some of the symbolism they use is pristine. Like it's, it's perfect. They really right. understood the imagery. They're using it perfectly. It's just that it's weaponized towards, uh, it's weaponized towards a strange subversion. And so trying to get, and as Christians, we're just materialist and, you know, we're arguing about some stupid text that they found in Qumran, whatever, like something they found in the desert in Egypt. And we're arguing about that, you know, all the, all the hippies now, like had, had kind of infiltrated, they had gotten some aspect of symbolism, right? Like the feminists, like all of these types of types of thinkers had gotten an app. Even like let's say the neo Marxists, they gotten some aspect of symbolism very, very right, and right. and they're able to like apply it in ways that were that were powerful. You know, even when you read Marx, you see that Marx, even though he was a he said he was a complete materialist, he used symbolism perfectly. Like he understood revolutionary right. symbolism perfectly. The types of images he would bring up would be that would really be uh, you know straight up revolutionary images in their mythological form. Uh, and so, but people, it's like, we need people, we need people to understand it so that they can be immune to the, to the weaponized version of it. Exactly. Exactly.